so over it. You may be wondering, why, Vivian, do you have a beard? It's because of rationing. Hi! Welcome back to Viv's Kitchen. Yes, it's me, Vivian Lindsay. Did you miss me? Because guess what? I sure as hell missed you. So today, we're going to be making mac and cheese. Because it's about 10 past 5 here, it's coming up to dinner time. I'm a little bit hungry because I've been drinking my way through the movie Cats because there's no other way to watch that movie. Let's get on with it. So to start with, I'm going to preheat my oven to about 180 degrees and I'm also going to fill my pan up with some water. You've got me. Now, I should also say that this is um, a, a, a recipe for those of you that are um, in isolation because of the coronavirus that's sweeping the nation. Um, and I went down to my shop and went to look for some macaroni and there wasn't any. So today we're just using fusilli pasta. So it's not quite mac and cheese. It kind of is. I mean, mac and cheese is just pasta and cheese, isn't it? So, you know, it's kind of that same thing. So we're going to put this on a high heat and what I'm going to do is I'm going to salt the water. Now I'm going to use my pink Himalayan salt because I'm that bitch. And that just flavours the water slightly. Um, in another pan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry up some bacon. Are you okay? Do you want me to call 111? Sorry, vegans. No. It's not a vegan day today. And I'm just going to cut it into um, into pieces. Why are you huffing and puffing? Wash your hands properly. Sing your favourite song. Happy birthday to you. Naughty. You wait for this oil to heat up. Now in this time, what you could do is you could make your cheese sauce because what we're going to do is we're going to make it from scratch today. Oh yeah, in a kimono and everything. So to make a, a basic roux is to take um, flour, butter and milk. That's going to make your cheese sauce. But before we do that, I'm going to grate some cheese. Now I bought an already um, shredded mozzarella because it's easier than getting a ball of mozzarella. We have some double Gloucester, I think this is. No, red Leicester. We have some red Leicester and we have some mature cheddar. I'm bullied in this household. Where are the scissors? Bubbling stay. Now I don't know how much, I mean, just, it depends how many people you're cooking for. I'm cooking for just me, so I've used half a bag because I'm a fat badger. You can put your leftovers in a tub. <laughs> Leftovers. I'm going to add this bacon. I'm going to stir it and crisp it up. Why are you interfering with, with the cooking? No, why are you so close? <coughs> also going to add some paprika at this point as well. Now you're probably saying, Vivian, what does paprika do? I don't know, once it's been cleaned. Um, it's been cleaned. Uh, uh. <clears throat> so I hope everybody's self-isolation is going well. I hope it's not too troublesome, too boring, too lonesome. Oh my God, it's fabulous. A piece of scone fell from the top here. Don't eat it. I'm not going to eat it, who do you think I am? Wow. Bacon's done, um, pasta is doing well. We're gonna make a cheese sauce. So. This consists of butter and flour. Yes, that's right. And then what you do is then you add milk to then um, thicken the sauce and make it an actual sauce. What? Eh, what? If you're not lucky enough to have a sauce spoon, then you're missing out. Um, I'm going to add butter. Now, measurement wise, I don't know. I just do. Clearly. What? Do a teaspoon of butter, that's what we need butter wise. And then I also do some of this. And then stir because you don't want it to burn, obviously. So once you've mixed your butter and your flour, you're then going to add milk a little bit at a time and then you stir. Stir, 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 stir. My mother taught me this. Look at that, saucy. Right, now that I have it at my desired texture, I'm going to add half of this cheese. It's 
quite a lot of cheese, isn't it? Right, cool. Okay, so cheese sauce is done. Pasta is al dente. Sorry, pasta is al dente. So we're going to strain off the pasta. Is that the reason why you're not wanting it? Because there's paprika on the bacon. Paprika. Pour in your cheese sauce. Mmm. And then we're going to add our paprika bacon. Because aesthetics. Is it a bad thing to want a nice dish? Well, we have our nice dishes. Right, and then pop this into a dish. You could also do this with vegan butter, vegan cheese. You could add fake bacon, or you could just not put any bacon at all. So you can easily change this into a vegan recipe. What about the milk? You can use soy milk or you could use nut milk. Sprinkle on the top the remainder of our cheese. Now we're going to put it in the oven for about 25 minutes. It'll be completely worth it. Let's hope, let's just hope that this has worked out better than the scones. A few moments later. Okay, so welcome back to Viv's Kitchen. Um, we've got about four minutes left, but I have had a sneak peek and it looks ready. Your lipstick is smudged. Your lipstick is smudged. You look a mess. You look a mess. <laughs> you burnt it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, it's not burning. <laughs> I'm just gonna add some chives on top. Just the two, apparently. <laughs> Get a good close up and listen to that sizzle. Bless you. Thank you for sneezing all over my teeth. So then you eat it. A bowl. A bowl, of course. They don't live that side, they live that side. When did they move house? Um, Moving? Felix will have a field day. There we go, now this will feed a family of four. For me, twice this evening. It's a bit bland. So this is um, Vivian's mac and cheese. Oh, there's some bacon there. Self-isolation has never tasted it's so wonderful. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Um, hopefully I'll have another video for you tomorrow because I've been consistent this week so far. Um, let me know what you wanna see because I know that people um, enjoyed the last baking video which is why I made this. Um, I'm trying to use things that are in my kitchen cupboard, so we don't have to go out and buy stuff. We are hoarding pasta. We are the pasta hoarders. You've still got <laughs> lipstick halfway up your fucking nose. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a pleasure to have you in my kitchen again. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm not sure what it will be. It might be an acoustic ukulele version of Cat Power's Sea of Love, for all I know. That's a bit random. Maybe I have premeditated this slightly, but who knows. Um, but thank you very much for tuning in, um, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.